Today we're turning to the brakes on a car. The brake system is somewhat hidden behind the wheels, so it can be a little hard to get a good look at them. Brakes are made of several components, with the brake rotor being the central figure. This is a metal disc connected directly to your car's wheel. When you press the brake pedal, these calipers act like clamps, squeezing brake pads onto the rotor, generating friction that in turn slows down or stops your vehicle. Most modern vehicles are equipped with disc brakes on the front wheels that are easily visible behind the wheel spokes. You'll notice a shiny metal disc, the rotor, and a nearby component, the caliper, which holds the brake pads. On the rear wheels, you might find what we call drum brakes, a more enclosed type, making it slightly challenging to see the inner parts. Some vehicles also feature an anti-lock braking system, or ABS, that uses wheel sensors and a pump to prevent wheel lockup during sudden braking to ensure better control. But how can you identify these components? Disc brakes have a visible shiny disc, like we talked about. On the other hand, drum brakes have a bowl-like brake drum and brake shoes that push against the drum during braking. So they work slightly differently. You'll find these brake components placed very close to the wheels, typically at the back of the wheel assembly. Though it's not particularly difficult to inspect them, for detailed maintenance or replacement, you typically need to remove the wheel or other surrounding components for complete access. Now, you might be wondering how long these brakes last. Generally, car brakes have a lifespan of about 30,000 to 40,000 miles. However, several factors like your driving habits and the specific type of brakes installed can influence this. If you're someone who drives frequently in heavy traffic or practices aggressive braking, your brakes might wear out more quickly. It's best to have them inspected either annually or during each visit to a car repair shop. Coming to the cost aspect, new cars brakes can set you back by about $30 to $50 per wheel with rotors costing between $40 and $70 per wheel. If you're considering a budget-friendly option, you might find less expensive parts at a scrapyard, but always ensure that they're in acceptable working condition before purchasing. Pay attention to signs of worn-out brakes, which could mean longer stopping distances than usual and a squeaking noise when the brakes are applied. This squeaking is caused by a thin metal strip in the brake pads that contacts the rotor when the pads are nearly worn out. Also, if you notice deep grooves on the rotor surface, or if your steering wheel or brake pedal vibrates when stopping, it might be time to replace your brakes to avoid higher repair costs, but also to ensure good safety. Lastly, remember, Working on your car's brakes can be risky if not done with caution. So if you're in doubt, consult a professional. If you want to learn more about car brakes, there's a link in the show notes to an article where I dive a bit deeper. There are also pictures to help you understand it all better. There's also a link to an overview of all the car's main parts so you can learn about them also. Until next time, take care and drive safely.